On the night of July 18th, in the year 64, a terrible fire broke out in Rome and destroyed whole sections of the city. Nero was the Roman emperor at the time, and there's a tradition that he played a fiddle during the fire, though he may not have even been there, and violins did not exist at the time. Some say that Nero ordered the fire set as one of history's first examples of urban renewal. Hello, this is Father Kubicki, and the reason I bring all this up today is that we're celebrating a feast in honor of those whom Nero eventually blamed for the fire, the Christians. It's the feast of the first holy martyrs of the Roman Church. And here's how the historian Tacitus, who was nine at the time, reported on the event. Nero fastened the guilt and inflicted the most exquisite tortures on a class hated for their abominations called Christians. Christus, from whom the name had its origin, suffered the extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of one of our procurators, Pontius Pilatus. An arrest was made first of all who pleaded guilty. Then, upon their information, an immense multitude was convicted, not so much of the crime of firing the city as of hatred against mankind, covered with the skins of beasts they were torn by dogs and perished, or were nailed to crosses, or were doomed to the flames and burnt to serve as a nightly illumination when daylight had expired. Did you catch that? These early martyrs were accused not of arson, but of hatred against mankind. Unfortunately, even today, people accuse Christians of hatred or hate crimes for speaking the truth the world doesn't want to hear.